Well, thank you all very much for coming here. Today is a day that will go down in the history books. People will struggle in years to come to understand how any country can do something so utterly stark to itself voluntarily. People will struggle to understand what sort of mentality could do that. And today is a day to be sad, to be sad and a day to be angry. Both of those emotions are there and both of those emotions are quite right. I feel sad that my country is going to start the process of ripping my EU citizenship away from me. That we are sending a message that we are closed to the rest of the world. That we are sending a message of support to those who hate foreigners, who hate immigrants. I'm really sad about that. And I'm angry with those who got us here. Angry with the leaders who knew that they were lying about what they could say. The people who voted for this referendum that most of us knew would be harmful. The people who then silently followed. To watch the Tories and Labour follow the UKIP whip on votes on this was one of the most upsetting experiences I can remember in Parliament. We, we should remember that anger. We should also, though, not be angry with all those who voted to leave. We should understand why it was that they were led astray, why they believed much of what was said to them. They are the victims as much, if not more, than us. Because many of the predictions we made during the campaign about what would happen to the economy are coming true. And it's people who are struggling more, who are on lower incomes, who are finding things tougher, who voted for a change because they weren't happy with the way things were, and who are now being hit and will continue to be hit even harder. They deserve our sympathy and understanding, not our anger. And those harms are very real. Prices going up in the food, for food, for all sorts of other goods, making it harder for people here. Businesses talking about leaving. The rise in race hate that we have already seen. Our NHS struggling to attract people who it desperately needs to work here. All of these are problems we predicted, were told, were lies, were told, were project fear, and which were in fact chillingly true. The breakup of the United Kingdom is looking more and more likely with Scotland, with Northern Ireland having huge problems. It's not very nice to say, I told you so, and I wish we didn't have to say it. But what's clear is that even those who've argued for Brexit are beginning to feel quite nervous. That's why they're saying that the people to blame if it's not a success are us. It's very bizarre, they say, if we don't champion Brexit now, then if it doesn't work, it's our fault. We told them not to jump off the cliff. It's hardly our fault if it hurts on the way down. They're terrified. They never meant to win it. They meant to blow the bloody doors off. They did not mean to win it. And it's going to be utterly tragic. What can we do now? There are a few interesting ideas. I love the idea of associate membership of the EU, associate citizenship. I would go for that. I would like to still be a European. I am still a European. And I'll support anything that helps me to hang on to that. And there'll be a vote in Parliament. But having seen what we've seen in the last few months, I have no faith that Parliament is going to do the right thing. We will see the same pathetic behaviour we saw so far. The one thing which I'm still standing out for, which my party has been pushing for, is the idea that there should be a vote among the public. I didn't like the first referendum, but if we had a referendum to say we should go somewhere, we the people should have a say over where we go. That is the one thing which is going to save us. And if those who disagree, if those who want to see Brexit really have confidence that things will go well, they'd be okay with us having a vote as well, because they would surely want to trust the public rather than put their faith in a single elected individual. But they won't do it. So we have to shout about that. So yes, vote according to this. This matters. Make it an issue in these local elections or other elections. Keep the pressure on. Let's hope we can avoid wandering out of the EU. But if necessary, I'll be here with you to fight to get back in. Thank you for coming.